Ohrid and it's beautiful lake. It's so nice to cycle around uh, Ohrid and in Macedonia in general, since it's very flat and you can cycle around the lake. And in Ohrid you can go to the old city, you can go to the walking area where you can find a lot of restaurants, a lot of hotels. Uh, so it makes sense to make a short break from Albania for one or two days and cycle in uh, Macedonia. You have the lake of Ohrid, you also the lake of uh, Presna in the south. So yeah, and it's pretty flat here, so it's very nice to cycle here. So now. I want to go from Ohrid to Korce, which is on the south of Albania. So I will join Albania again to go a bit more in the south. When you come from Albania to Macedonia, you change of culture, you change of language. So you, you pass from the Albanian language to Slavic language. So it's a little bit of change as well. A small snake who died unfortunately on the road. just have one last village before Albania. What's that? Is it a bunker? It was probably a bunker, but you cannot see any door now. It's the last village in Macedonia before the Probably have the border with Albania, the border between Macedonia and Ukraine. So, right after the border, again in Albania. I can see the city of Pogradek from here it's probably not too far again but then at the back I can see some mountains so again 
If we want to go further to Colche, for example, but we need to do some, uh, some up roads. Here, that's very touristic. You can find a lot of camping, hotels. Obviously, it's in front of the lake, so it makes sense to sleep here. You can see a lot of bunkers. Some of them are, are painted in pink or in any color. Often you can meet a few dogs along the road. They are never aggressive, it's a bit strange. Like I expected the dogs like this to be a bit more aggressive, but they are not. Sometimes you can meet some dead animals. I saw this morning a dead cat. Already saw a dead dog also on the road. So as you can see on the bunker, it's painted in, uh, in green. So I don't know anything about the history of this part of Albania, what was the use of these bunkers. But you can see uh, a lot of them when you cycle through Albania. So we will retune the city of Pogradec at the end of this road. What strikes me a lot in Albania is the amount of Mercedes BMW, BMW, Audi you can meet on the road. That's only this kind of cars. It's never a shitty car. Like almost every car you met is a Mercedes or a BMW. So often in these uh, places in Albania, I can see buildings in yellow, in red, like this. It's not bad to give a bit of color to these towns. Okay, let's try to join the road to Kurche. That's a lot of markets to buy vegetables, fruits. That's uh, today it's first day. Everybody seems to be at the market. Need uh, to continue a bit. Looks like the end of the city. Need to join the road to Corche. Now I will try to go to Karche on the main road. Okay, now after a few hills, goes down.
some rain again. So I am almost arrived in Koche. We arrived in Koche under the rain. That's raining, 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 raining again and all my stuff will be wet again my short is wet also this is the center of Kochi Okay, let's go to Grams. There's one park of Torche. Uh, Not on the best road of my life. I have to check if I am the right road, I think so, but looks weird, a road like this. I had to pass a very muddy road and I was a bit afraid it would be like this for a, a long time my shoes are very muddy now I don't know if it will be again muddy or if it will stay like this that's a small road it goes along the river to Gramsc, to the town of Gramsc through the mountains but it stays flat for the moment. It doesn't go on the hills and down the hills, but stay, stay between the hills for the moment. Look how many it is. Oh, it will be a hard day today. Look how bad the road is. So here it's good, but sometimes it's full of water. So it's not, as you can see on the, on the bike, on my shoes. Here as well, it's not so easy. It's why you shouldn't go cycling in October in Albania, in some places. It's very muddy and uh, five hours of cycling can become maybe a bit longer. I cannot go as fast as I, as I wish. One abandoned house along the road. Okay, find a better road now. I'm completely alone this road. I haven't met anybody since one hour. I'm completely alone. I am shocked by the silence of the nature around. That's only me and the road. Thank you. 
absolutely nobody on the road it has been two hours if you have an issue if you have a problem if you break the tube if you are lost you are completely alone in this world. look at this oh god so nice It's raining more and more. Today, go back to Tirana. Tirana. Tirana today, beautiful weather, not like yesterday, uh, a bit of flat roads and then it would go up and up and up as usual.